the second part of this tutorial I'm going to show you how when we load the second level we pick up the score from the first level so I'm going to open the second level file I'm going to go into game logic layout I'm going to change the renderer to blender game engine and I'm going to add a property score to pick up the score and carry it on and I'm going to add an actuator and a controller so I'm going to zoom in here shift and middle mouse button to pan I'm going to add an always sensor and I'm going to add a Python controller I'm going to name the Python controller update we need to make the score integer and display it in the debug window and we need to go to the game uh, menu and show debug properties I'm going to use uh, the basic game logic script again uh, but I'm going to rename the script again I'll call it update score there are many ways to mix uh, logic bricks and Python code to do the same things I'm going to use uh, a setup which I used before in a tutorial on um, making balls bounce in the blender game engine and it involves uh, defining an init function which is run once at the beginning to initialize properties and defining an update function which is run every frame now I want to keep that if statement for later but the rest I don't want now just as with the um, template you get a main function where the main function is defined anything indented there is inside that definition of the main function and then you call the main function similarly now we have to call the init function and the update function to make sure the init function is only run once we have an if statement and we need a property um, which I'm going to call init initialize but it could be called Fred uh, if that property hasn't been created in the owner object then create it to create a property for an object all you have to do is give it a value so if I put it equal to one that will create a property call in it in the object owner which is our cone and now for the critical line of code where the score is transferred from the first level to the second level we have added a property called score to the owner object which is the cone and we're going to put that equal to the global dictionary pro uh, its property score which we set in the first level so that's dot logic dot global dictionary square brackets for a property and that is still memory resident as the level was brought in it didn't wipe that property and so that can be transferred can we test that well there's most probably a couple of things we need to just do to prevent uh, an error when testing I'm going to add another sensor a keyboard sensor which I'll call again press A uh, and in the code I need to change that to press A and we need to link everything up everything all the parts we're going to test anyway need to be linked up that needs to be linked up and we need to 
put the script in there. So I need to save that. Um, that must be saved as level two. And we need to open level one. And start that and we have to get to four. So on here we should get the cone and the score should have come over and it didn't okay so what do you do if you type in some lines of code and you test it and it doesn't work uh, in the help menu if you toggle the system console this will give you debug information and uh, this is saying the unknown error reading file I know is a different error and I'm going to fix that later um, it doesn't like the line uh, defined in it invalid syntax so and whatever you do don't click the close there because that will close the whole of blender just click on blender and it will go behind blender main window so it doesn't like this line and the reason is i've left the famous semi uh, full colon when you define a function you must put a full colon there it is there for the main and that's what i left out so now if we load level two level one uh, start it press a four times we load the cone and the score still doesn't come across okay so we go back to level two and uh, now my console is open so i just need to bring it to the front and uh, is it giving the same error message? It is. It's giving the same error. error, error. Okay, and the reason was I didn't save. So we put it back in again and remember to save this time. And now if we run it, file open recent level one and start press a four times and the score still doesn't come across the system console is telling me it doesn't like this um, update function left half complete so i'm going to finish it off now i'm going to copy this line and i'm going to paste it in twice I'm going to, uh, as you press the letter A, uh, that sensor will be picked up here. If it's positive from, as you press the letter A, it'll add one to the score. But I want that to be copied into the uh, global dictionary because you might well be passing the parameter on to the next level again so if I just paste there that is copying the score keeping the global dictionary score up to date now we need to connect up this to our Python script so that that is updated and we need to press the letter A and remember to save and now let's see if that works so we loading level one we're running pressing a four times and there it is it's carried into the next level and we can carry on pressing uh, so it works uh, everything is working but if we look at the system console we are still getting a message uh, unable to open level two even though it does open it 
but you can get rid of that error by putting slash slash in front of the name of the level uh, make sure the file is in the same folder as the level one that's the end of this tutorial um, we've seen how to load another level I think more importantly we've seen how to use uh, the global dictionary uh, how we can give properties to it which can be accessed by all objects and it stays memory resident through most events like loading levels or restarting levels okay uh, I'll put all the files that I've used in this tutorial at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and